good morning guys why is my battery already flashing why is my battery already flashing okay okay let's try this again welcome or welcome back if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not welcome back as y'all can see by the title we're doing a get ready with me today and not to take pictures of my friends and i really don't have that much time so this is kind of going to be rushed so i have to hurry up and get ready so i'm just going to yap to y'all talk to y'all i hope that i don't know it's gonna be our first sit down video so yeah we're just gonna talk let's do it hurry up okay y'all so I'm gonna wash my face again so that we have a real clean base to work with with this makeup. I don't really wear makeup out often. The last time I did my makeup, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to answer like a little video or a little clip or something. I did, I did, I did. did. Y'all have to give my props to what it's due. I use hot water to wash my face and the cold water to rinse off my face. So I just hate the cold water. That's all I have to say. There was nothing else. I just don't like cold water. Anyways. Okay, y'all. Uh, this is guys. Welcome back to the Get Ready With Me. Welcome to the official Get Ready With Me. Let me wipe off my face first. Y'all, oh, it is literally 12.42. It's okay, it doesn't take me that long to do my makeup. I wonder what I want to talk about. Hmm. Should I give y'all a story time? Y'all. Hello? Hi, Nikki, this is Miriam. This is she. I'm just gonna ask my chat. I'm gonna ask chat if they want. <sighs> oh my god, I'm like slacking right now. I need to hurry up. Like, I keep forgetting that I actually don't have time. I'm starting using CeraVe moisturizing lotion, period. If you don't have a moisturizing lotion, I, I don't know what to tell you. Face first, putting a generous amount, even though I have oily skin. SPF. I'm probably gonna do like a mix of just yapping and then answering the questions as people answer them because I probably should have asked them before but I just asked like right now so I'm gonna give it a second and just let some answers come in or whatever but y'all I'm kind of excited to take these pictures I haven't posted actually that's not true I don't have any pictures on my main account since Paris and that was all the way in like June oh I forgot to even show y'all SPF, if you know, you know. I'm always gonna put the girlies on. I'm gonna say in every video, it's the best way to go. And now I'm using my First Aid Beauty Brightening Eye Cream because I probably look dead. But yeah, so I haven't posted any pictures since June-ish, and that was when I was in Paris. So I think I'm ready to come back with a banger, with a banger fit, with a banger pick. And since I'm already doing the get ready with me, I might as well. Let's see what they tell me. If y'all don't know, I'm class of 2024. I am a senior. Not to say what school I go to, but y'all probably already know. But one thing I can definitely say, one thing I can say for a fact is that I am ready to graduate. Like People are like, oh, like, oh, senior year is such like a realizing year. Like you're supposed to, your senior year, you're supposed to like enjoy it because it's gonna go by and you're gonna look back and realize how much you loved high school and no, I don't miss high school. I'm not gonna miss anything about high school but my friends and the teachers who made it bearable. School is not for me, it never has been and never will be. I'm not gonna say school is not for me. I'm gonna say the environment that school created, the environment that school created and that I was around is not for me anymore. Also, using my e.l.f. power grip primer. Guys, I have to focus. So I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I really don't even know if this is my color, y'all, if I'm being honest. I don't know how to do makeup. If you're trying to like learn how to do makeup, don't go based off of this tutorial, bro. If you go based off of this tutorial, I cannot promise you it's gonna look good. Literally, I kinda just be guessing. Like, I'm just doing what I think TikTok girlies or the beauty gurus be doing. That's what they be doing, right? I seen a girl put some 
I seen a girl put some right here. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but we're doing it anyways. And y'all, ooh, I need to get setting spray. I'm literally about to run out. If y'all don't know, that's my saving grace. I literally have this much left. Anyways. So yeah, anyways, I think that high school, like now that I'm actually a senior and I'm like looking back on my entire high school career, I don't know if that's what you would call it, my entire high school experience or whatever. Um, I hate high school. Um, I hate the people there. I hated the experiences. Um, I hated the teachers. I hated the work. I hated the grades. So what really was there about high school that was really that great? Like, let me know. For anyone who's like, oh my god, like, it's supposed to be your time where you have experience and you meet your friends and da 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 I could do that anywhere. I could literally do that anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna look like a ghost, but I'm gonna look like a snatched ghost. Everyone is like, oh, it's for the experience and da 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 I will say one thing about high school, it is just one big learning experience like if you go through it, everyone's experience is different yet the same it's all a collective like that's why there's so many cliche things about high school because everybody has to go through the same things and it's just an experience like it's not really something that you could warn somebody for or anything like that so if you're just coming into high school or if you're in high school or whatever don't worry about anybody like literally just don't even worry about anything or anybody because at the end of the day no one is living for you you're the only person living for yourself so wise words for mary what am i doing next with my life what am i doing my brows we're using the benefit brow pencil we're gonna just brush out my brows and if y'all wonder what i'm looking at i'm looking at my mirror that's in front of me i'm also looking at my phone because i can't see i just got my prescription yesterday for my glasses and i really can't see so Let's read some questions now because I definitely got some. Okay, so <laughs> first question is why did you start YouTube from my oop guys they're on the way I gotta hurry up let me get my concealer before I start yapping again. So the question was why did I start YouTube? That is a, a good question to be honest. What I don't know where the freaking brush that I used to carve out. I'm just gonna use this one. I think YouTube is something that I've been wanting to do and I've always had like a passion or whatever for creating like content and photography and like videography and things of that nature. I was a junior last year and that's when I started, when I like met a lot of my friends who were seniors, I started doing a whole bunch of content related things like I was taking pictures, I was doing videos, I was doing like just everything like in school, outside of school. If you go to my school, you definitely, I can promise you that you've seen like a video or a picture or anything that I've taken because it's just like so much. So once I figured that I had a love for it and like I had an actual passion for it, I was just like, why not? I'm a senior right now and if I want to document my life, I might as well just like make fun with it, like have fun with it. So around, I think October, we're using the Milani Correct and no, Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Yeah, yeah, around October of this year. Ooh, okay, we're gonna go into a impromptu side story time. I threw a Halloween party, and y'all, that time was insane. Like, first of all, I broke my phone, so I didn't have my phone like that entire time. The party, I didn't even show up with my phone. Somehow, I still came home to like 25 DMs of people sending me pictures and DMing me and saying they saw me and da 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 phone because I was sick and I threw up on my phone and broke it so around that time I was like really going through it because we were just going into a new year and I was really excited to do like a whole bunch of stuff and then my phone broke which was so hard to deal with like not having a phone and just not having connection which sucks but that's the society that we live in so when I didn't have my phone I was talking to my friend and I told my friend I was like I'm never experience just told me to never take for granted the things that you have and like I was like dang if I didn't have my phone literally what would I do it's a dense observation or whatever I really thought about it like now that I don't have my phone I have so much time to realize like what I want to do so that entire time that I didn't have my phone I was literally on my Mac watching videos of like businesses and just getting into figuring out how I can make my own money. And so I just decided it was stamped when I got my phone back. I was like, I'm doing it too. As soon as I get my new phone, I'm do I'm starting YouTube and I'm gonna 
B series, I'm telling you, I'm gonna do it. And if y'all like it, I like it, then who knows? Hopefully, one day it could grow into something. Actually, not even hopefully. One day it will grow into something much bigger and much greater than whatever I expect. So, that's basically why I started YouTube. If you need some motivation, just break your phone right before the biggest Halloween party of the season. And that will give you enough motivation. Okay, future plans after graduation. That's actually a really good one. So, ooh, do I want to tell you all my plans? Hmm. All I can tell y'all is y'all stay tuned. Yeah. What is the main difference between you a year ago and you now? Ooh, that is a good question. Oh my God. Now, let me just sit and think about this one for a second because that's actually a really good question. The biggest difference um, or me a year ago and me now is my awareness. Like hands down, hands down. I don't know exactly what triggered it or maybe it was something that I had already been had but it was just like an unconscious or subconscious thing. The biggest difference is my awareness. Like I gained an awareness and if you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. If you don't understand it, like you're probably not even gonna understand what I'm about to say. But I think awareness changed my entire life. Before last year, I was very worldly, I would say. I was caught up on a lot of things that really weren't for me and I went through so many experiences that like shaped my learning and how do I talk about awareness? Like, it's just something that you have. Once I started having an awareness, I started expressing more gratitude towards the things that I love. I started taking more time to myself. I started thinking more realistically of my options and my future. Like, so much, it's just so much. That's like, it's such a loaded question. I would just say that the biggest difference is that that awareness just caused me to change how I move as a person. You know, around me, I feel like I'm a nice person. And if you don't agree with that, I don't mind like doing stuff for people or going out my way for people. Saying like, I had to stop being so giving and so generous with people in my energy, not just like in what I give them because the materialistic things don't really matter, but my energy, me being around people, I had to, you know, kind of limit how much I do that. You just never know with people, and that's the thing. But one thing I do know is that I'm protected by the grace of God. I will always will be, you will always make sure to show me the truth. So if you try me, that's on you because I can't really lose for real. So yeah, <laughs> that was a loaded answer. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? What will I be in 10 years? 27? Yo, in 10 years I'm gonna be 27. Yo. By 27, I wanna be happy, healthy, wealthy, building generational wealth, definitely have a house by then, married, kids. I don't know where I want to live yet, but it's a growing thing in me that I don't want to live in the US. Like it's it's kind of been growing on me. I don't think I want to stay in the US. So in 10 years, who knows? Y'all might see me in, I don't freaking know, Czechoslovakia, anywhere but here. <laughs> Just be gone. I want to be living a quiet, soft, slow, peaceful life, building a life with my family and just Okay, y'all, Ethan just got McKenzie, so you're probably like, girl, you didn't even do anything. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. So I graduate in June and I turn 18 in April. Stay tuned for the 18th birthday vlog, skip day, all that is all around the same time. So that's just going to be a whole bunch of content. But yeah, after I graduate, like I'm pretty sure right after I graduate, I don't really want to exposed what the timestamps is going to be exactly yet i'm really excited for that that's a lot of travel it's a lot of seeing people it's a lot of new experiences and guys i am so excited to move out like the move out vlogs the apartment vlogs i just know like it's 2024 is my year 2024 is eight year i was born on the 24th can we please do the math 4 24 06 like can we really do the math and i'm stamping that right now but yeah i'm like so excited i can't even tell y'all too much about that but just know i'm gonna be going to college there so 
So now y'all, I gotta hurry up because Ethan is about to come. I'm about to show y'all my outfit. This is the skirt. So cute. I wore it in Paris and I didn't take my picture, so I'm wearing it today. Some shorts for the skirt because baby, this is too short. Um I'll probably just wear these because they kind of match the color, but I think they're longer than the shorts, literally. I mean longer than the skirt. Okay, this will do. We need to quickly do my hair. There's not really much to it. What hairstyle am I doing, y'all? Classic side part eats. We could go. Ooh, these socks are mad cute. Y'all look, they have little ruffles. I'm about to put these on. Scrambling to get ready. I'm surprised. But I did that before you came. Okay guys, I also have this. Let me just stick to what I know. Let me just stick to what I know. You lotion for my ashy legs. And that question about like the biggest difference between myself, that was such a good question, bro. Ah! Y'all, I thought I had more time. Y'all, oh my god, they're here. This bag. I think we're going with this bag. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Okay, how about this one? To be honest, is this too much? We're okay. We're going with the white. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's pack our bags with all of our supplies. It's cold outside. Okay, y'all, they're actually about to leave me, so I'll probably answer the last question in the car, but we need to hurry up.